I'm here with all these hot dads. Get it, guys. It's Joe here. Welcome back to Dream Daddy. So, let's get back on into it. Who's gonna be your dream daddy? So, when we last left off, we looked at everyone's dad books. So, now we're going to pick a date. Easily, let's recap my favorites, which is Craig, Matt, and Hugo. Are definitely my top three. I don't really know who would be after that. I think probably Damien, then Robert, then Joseph, then Ryan. I can't stand people who one up me. I've had that my entire life. So having people that one up me really pissed me off. So I'm sorry, Brian. You'd probably be one of those friends, but you ain't someone I'd date. So let's go with Craig. Let's message him. The extended cut is the only cut worth watching. Dad tip number 38. That's true, actually. A lot of the times, it's always like, just, hey, look, this is better than the other one because more than likely the director's cut usually has more stuff in it, which usually makes it a lot better. But it does depend. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Hey, bro, or should I say, neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, oh, man. Let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment. This could be fun. A fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo! Man Panda! What's wrong, honey? You've been crying! Also, I love your room. The aesthetic is amazing. But why are you crying, honey? I open the door and find a man Amanda sitting cross legged on the floor, surrounded by a magazine, newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece, but. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she's been crying. Hey, you okay? Yeah, fine. I'm just sad because I realized that dogs are too often killed off in movies to eclipse emotional reactions from the audience instead of being given the respect they deserve. It's not right. Are you sure that's all you're all upset about? You have to tell me what's actually going on. Dogs are better. You have to tell me what's going on. I hate it. And I'm one of those people, I hate when people say, oh, nothing's wrong, and they're like crying their eyes out, and they're like, nothing's wrong, I'm fine. I'm one of those people, I do that all the time. I hate people knowing how I am, because I feel like then, if I say I'm not okay, then they have to sit there, they have to listen, they have to take on the burden of my life and my struggle, and I don't want that. I'd rather take on their burden than them listen to me. Huh. Why are you lying to me? I'm... No, I'm perfectly fine. Alright. I don't believe her, but I'm gonna let her go for now. What you working on? Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Craig invited us for a softball game. Wanna go? Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you brought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball towards me and I just ran off in the field ran off in the field crying? And then you hit in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up? Yes. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball. What? So does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. I'm finally ready to face my fear. Let's do this. If I already face my fear, head on. Reading is my other fear. Man and I make the short drive onto the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty pat. We clamber up the benches and take our seat on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. 
So, when do the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with softballs is different from everyone else's relationship with softballs, right? Okay, but if I don't see a kid crying, I'm going to be very disappointed. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. <laughs> ah. Definitely not that at all. The game starts and the kids run out of the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has rivers strapped on his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's their ma mascot. Reading the kids' brightly coloured jerseys, I see that it's Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Oakleots. Go oh, Flapjacks? Yeah. Choke up the bat, Miranda. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Miranda, square up. How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite their name. Yeah. But yelling is fun. Give it a shot! It's cath cathartic. Keep around the ball. What's important is that you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? Keep your eye on the ball. And also keep an eye on the bat. And the outfitters. And the other players. Just keep your eye on all the stuff simultaneously. Nice! We watch a couple of innings of softball. Now! ready for major leagues yet but Craig's trained for the hiccups to come out of me and he's team pretty well it seems like he's really good with kids Craig and Craig good with children <sighs> whoa it's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet Amanda dear you have to let it go let what go? I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I Can't you see I'm a flawless child? <laughs> the opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out into the center field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. See? It's completely justifiable for you. The girl pops down the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a blue line to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. Maine, it's strange to think about this guy who... Once a bat flipped off of a roof into a pool while shotgunning a beer? He's so responsible now. Damn. The game resumes and the girl calms down a bit. We watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The Ocelots have seemed to have given up at this point. I see one of the outfielders eating a fistful of grass. Bat on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the supple, staring at it in amazement. I, I caught the ball. You saved my life. We are eternally grateful. I caught the ball, Dad. I I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda! I, I faced my fear! I defeated the softball! I, I could do anything! Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig teams are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Great job! Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Nate, wants to battle. Great job, everyone. We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig! Great work, man! Oh, thanks! We've been working hard all season. And it's great to see it play off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? They're adorable! Ah! Also, this just looks like my friend Emma and I when we ever dress up similar, which is kind of weird when we do. I'm usually, I think I would be, I think this one, uh, no, no, I think I'd be more her and she'd be more her, because she does wear more backwards hats, but I do as well, but like, I'd have that more button up where she wouldn't. Hello! Mm -hmm. Hey! Keep playing out there, guys. Hey, you guys rule. Can we be friends? Thank you! You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, it's me. Good looking out. Yeah, that's definitely me and that's definitely Emma. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if you did, I'd be doing it constantly. 
Yeah, I take all of her math tests. And I usually throw rocks at stuff when people get mad and I tell them I'm Briar. What? We will talk about this later. Jay, bro, I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang out, right? Sounds good. Just then, one of the mums jumped into a conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Cray. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense, the girls won. What sort of celebration would have without a fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder, giving him gooey gooey eyes. Man, this mum is laying it on thick. Amanda and I share a look. Alright, alright. It, it was cool if my bro comes along. The mum the mum looks slightly put out of but comes covers up with a smile. Mm -hmm. Of course. Where are we going? Thirsty's pizza? What? What? It's a real place. An endless stream of girls clad into softball gear piled out of a minivan into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind with them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we used. We put our bodies back in the day. Remember how we used to just fold a whole pie in half and then put taco fillings inside? Ah! Pizza crows. I would never forget. How did we survive college again? Our bodies were young back then. More elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. The kids are around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple of slices of mediocre pizza. Hey. Hey. Give me a pizza there. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Dad. A different mum walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you, you are. Oh, uh, I'm happy to hear about that. Definitely helps that I have a kid of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their life. Mine and I look at each other again. Craig is getting it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump for the, for the mum in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw a bone at him. Wait, our version tattoo with Amanda, smoke screen mother. Smoke screen. Alright, we went back to the back wing to my wingman days. I gotta run the block of pain. So, Martha, it must be, it must get lonely without Daniel. You know, I also happen to be an eligible single father. <laughs> I waggle my eyebrows at her. Fast. I remember that working there in the past. She turned back and talked to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Brad tonight for a sleepover. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course. But I could always help I could always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow. Nice. This lady's really going for the gold. Huh? It, it would actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza in the coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany, not another. Oh, came okay, sweet. I swear to God, if I have to buy it, Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew! I finally have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Only on days like today. I hope. Dad. Hey girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on Dance Dance Revolution or DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance map. Please help. Girls, you know I don't have my my jukes anymore. But dad. Cray looks at me like a hurt puppy. Sorry dude, duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good buddy. Cray runs off with his daughters and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today. But it seems like he's getting dragged into every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be third wheeling here. 
There's worse places than it, there's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coins and pinball? You know it. Man and I pull up to a machine that feels pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but for the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to help mine. And immediately she gets a multi ball. Also, she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to pay comfort. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights violently, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just to be able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from Ellie walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. Please don't lean on my thing. <gasps> That's so interesting. Do you know what if he's like available? Mm -hmm. Oh, honestly, I don't know if I could say. Seriously, you gotta make a tilt. Because it's just, it's, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it'd be great if he, lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, a buzzer sound and the game's over. Giant made the pool ball machine tilt. <laughs> you stone harpy. Oh. What? I said, I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that will hurt your feelings. Same. Hey. Amanda. Bro. What's going on? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're going to be stuck here for the rest of the night. I raggle Amanda and say quick goodbyes to Craig and head out to the peace place. Finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. <sighs> hey, you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro? Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River Burbles. Well, almost to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Up some catch. This might be the less catch and you more throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in the car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my cakes and Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were the good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal cake stand. It was a fet of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't probably hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. Ask about coaching, business, and kids. I think ask about kids. I can't believe you're a father of three. Neither can I. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Yeah. And I had no idea what I wanted to do in my life. But raising kids, when Brian and Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I'd spent trying to figure out things led to them. I couldn't have been happier. I don't think I could ever care about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me and I would still be proud of it for the life I've lived. Ask about the business. So, you run a business now? Bro, yeah. We sell fitness gear. Imports and exports mostly. But we're coming up with our own line of athletic, of leisure wear soon. I know. Most of you sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like you'll make a killing. If you ever need athletic wear, I got you back. You could sponsor me or wrap your athletic wear brand while I'm mowing, mowing my lawn. This is a glamorous lifestyle. We're carrying to you, yes. Ask about coach ball. So is softball coach the life you wanted, or was it the life that was thrusted upon you? Huh. I admit mean, that I was hesitant at first. I keep losing his voice. Oh no. I keep because I'm thinking of like Nate wants to battle, because that's who the voice is him. So I'm trying to think like, hey. I admit, I was hesitant at first. Brian Hazel had so much energy. That we just had to get them to sport. But there was no one there to run the team. The more I did, the more so much it means to the girls. I'm worried they'd be a riot if I quit. But also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. They're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. The zombie apocalypse is coming in, they're going to kill us all. They took you down like a pack of vault drives on T Rex. Exactly. It's nice out here. Quiet. Must be good to get away from softball moms for a bit, huh? Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. I think we like that. Actually, that wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. 
I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Peace and quiet. That hot, hot silence. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Nice. I made that a reality for you. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There was no time. I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girl's life. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Mm. Buddy, I, I hear you. So, the mums can hear me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. The right person will come along eventually. Hit softballs. Don't get hit on by mums. <laughs> You're doing a great job. You, these kids love you. And to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you, you got this dad thing down right. Thanks, bro. That means a lot coming from you. Well, I'm distracted and miss the softball and it hits me right in the head. Wow, that hurt. Mana was right all along. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do that dad thing for a sec. Craig spends a moment examining my head. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. You'd be so lucky. That was... I mean, I feel like I've earned at this point. Waiting all day to hang out with you. Well... Craig's leaning and kisses my forehead. Ah! Ah! Look it off, champ. Are the lights on the softball feel really hot or is it just me? I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Hey, little bud. You must be in tired, huh? I hate to say it, but I probably should head out. Sorry that things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey. Remember that one house party we went to we got broken up by a helicopter? Bro, how could I forget? You and me hopped on a concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh yeah, man. Could you imagine the look on our faces? I got the hiccups. We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing we were at a party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested in joining the academy. And then they started giving me pointers for exams. The longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. Good old days, right? We get back to our car. Craig pulls me in for a hug, or at least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang out soon, yeah? I'd like that. I think that went well. Are you honest? I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her collage, glue stick in hand. Burning the midnight art oil. Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter Lip Sync Battle. Do the shark link sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Yes. I look over a shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you're making. Thanks. I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash, and the other it's... Amanda, is that me? The whole thing is about my goals for the future, and those are basically... Basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs, and also have a strong and multi-supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. <laughs> oh, now you've done it. Get ready, what's your dad cry? Ah. It's happening. Oh, dad. You did this with your good art. Mm. She pats me on the back. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wiped the tear from my eye. He was good. Mm. That Craig guy sure is busy. Yeah, dude. The softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fear today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. I've been waiting for this for a while now, and I'm paying my dues to the dirt. Pops, I should start facing my fear more often. Oh yeah? How about tomorrow? We hit up some empty parking lots and practice. Dare I say. Eh? Parallel parking. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. Calm down. Alright, I'm gonna go hit the hay. Take care of the late night television for me, alright? I'll let them know you said hey. Dad tip number three. Start building credit as early as possible. Date complete! Okay, so... Okay. So, Pimble, yes. Thirsty, mm. so, Oh, you're rank S. That's good. 
Perfect. Awesome. So baby, babies and slap me twins are getting there slowly, but everything else seemed to be pretty good. Cake stand champion. Achievement unlocked. One day, my afternoon one job will hear the mail truck pull through the cul de sac. I wonder if there's any coupons today. A nice mail person slides a couple of letters and a large yellow envelope through a slot. Kate Sobble tries to get in. Hey, my coupons! I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I like to knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda! She yells through the door. What? I have something for you! I'm kind of busy now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. Merely Amanda pushes the door open. Or an interested in the arts? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back later. It's fine. Father, please! I hand her the envelope, which she tells open with her teeth. It's probably bad for your teeth, but okay. She doesn't seem near me, she spit out the piece of the envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. And? The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Hmm. My other face is un unreadable. I can't believe this. Alright. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't. I got in! Ah! C congratulations, Amanda! Ah! I, I got in! Amanda tells the letter sign gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie! That's amazing! I'm so proud of you! She pulls me she pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well of course you got in. You're a great student, you nailed that interview, oh. and your photography is incredible. Oh. Wait, Dad. I know this one's really expensive, and it's so far away. I think for a moment. HIA was one of the most expensive schools that Amanda applied for. And I think she has a heart set on it for the longest time. Hmm. It'll be tough. I'm gonna make it work. Really? Of, of okay. course. Amanda hugs me again. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating yeah. tonight. Dinner, your choice. Wherever you want. Wherever? Amanda and I walk along the bayside, turning to our four wrap burritos from a nearby food truck. You could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a burrito with a view. Saying, give me a burrito and put me on the beach and I'm good. I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of glass, grass, not glass, and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes and there are these galleries nearby and there's a discount if you bring a student ID. And Amanda, slow down. You're going to check on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? And we get all the professional photo editing software for free? It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA. But I wish she wouldn't do it because between bites of her burrito. I th thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's going to be? You take a survey in line and they match you with someone with a similar major and interest. I bet we're going to be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a long lifetime friend. But don't ever get me started on bad roommates. No, oh, no. I'm just kidding. We didn't have any bad roommates. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story about a new foreign exchange student who has a really bad cough that sounds exactly like a dog's bark. Cow rule. Oh, they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I could get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake. Or maybe both. The snake would eat the rabbit though. Oh boy, I think I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> She's so excited, I don't want to disappoint her. But I need her to be real for a second. So, you know I ha had that talk with Mr. Vega. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? Mm. No. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? I really want to go to Horns. We need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. I pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? 14 hours? Damn. There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads across. <laughs> Don't get. <coughs> oh, it's cold here. Don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Oh, Dad. Don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very proud of you. You're all grown up now, and you're such a good person, and I hope that you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're going to make me cry too. It's too late, hon. It's already happening. Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's going to make it taste sad. I pull a mandarin for a hug and a kiss on her forehead. Nah. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Love you too, Bobs. Welcome.
welcome. That's you got dads. That was a cute little thing. I want to see something because it came up with a heart before. So yeah, it means I've done one day. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Back. So with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Who should I go on a date with next? Thinking maybe I might go on a date with Matt. We'll see. I feel like that would be a good idea because I did my date with Cray. I don't want to keep dating Cray. Like, date, date, date. But then I... Because I want to see what they're all like. But I don't know if I can date Craig all the way through and like date each dad all the way through, if that makes sense. So I definitely want to go on a date with at least Matt and Hugo. At least one date of each. That would be great. Or maybe I should do date each person once and then just go full out Craig. We'll figure it out. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. Oh, that was such a sweet day. Yes.